When we talk about tools on tech thing, it's usually bits and drivers, soldering irons and wire strippers, but honestly, some of the most useful tools in my toolbox come in a bottle, a can, or a tube. Let's start with a classic, 91% isopropyl alcohol, usually found on a bottom shelf at your drugstore, Target, Walmart, wherever. It's a disinfectant. It's perfect, right, for sterilizing earbuds before you let somebody else try them out. But you know what? Alcohol is also a great solvent, and it dries fast and residue-free, so you can safely clean electronics. Save munge on a motherboard, just unplug Plug your computer first, thermal compound off a CPU, those nasty black finger dirt stains some knobs and keyboards get after they've been poked or twisted too many times. Best of all, like I said, it pretty much leaves no residue. It's safe and easy. Heads up. If you got a dirty screen, you can use a mixture, a 50-50 mix of isopropyl alcohol and distilled water. Makes a great DIY screen cleaner for your HDTV, your laptop, your eyeglasses, your phone screen. You get the idea. Just one, make sure you check the manual for the device first, because some screen coatings do not like alcohol. Two, get a dust-free rag, like a microfiber rag. And three, spray the cleaner on the rag, not directly on the screen. Best of all, a 32-ounce jug of isopropyl alcohol will probably run you under two bucks. Scratchy misbehaving volume knobs, weird dried up, is that orange juice stains on that motherboard? Greasy dust messes caught between the fins of a CPU cooler or on an ancient radio board. Switch contacts that don't switch no more. These are just some of the things I've managed to fix using CRC's QD Electronic Cleaner, which unlike isopropyl alcohol comes in a spray can so you can get it into areas you might not reach otherwise. Matter of fact, a 10 second shot of this stuff kept me from spending 90 bucks in about two days replacing one of those old school car locks it rolls down a window too. Love it when I save money. Now, CRC says this petroleum distillate alcohol-based precision cleaner is designed to be plastic safe, residue free for circuit breakers, circuits, coin mechanisms, computer components, contacts, electronics, fiberglass, flux removal, sockets, lighting, plastics, nylon plugs, relay switches, PVC, PTFE, tape heads, terminals. It's a long list. I've used it to clean out problematic RCA jacks, switches, a ton of stuff. Um, a ton of irritating problems. It has never heard a thing. It's even got an aviation approval. That's a Boeing D6-17487. Eight bucks for an 11 ounce can on Amazon, people. Now, I can barely say cyano, acrylates, but it's the primary ingredient in a ton of adhesives that are usually called something like super glue, crazy glue, instant glue, whatever the label is on the shelf. Now, it doesn't work on every plastic out there, but I've used, well, in this case, Loctite super glue to fix a legion of broken knobs and battery covers, to field repair drones after epic crashes, fix about a billion toys, eyeglass arms, broken fridge parts, and of course, in seconds, it'll bond wood, plastic, leather, fabric, rubber, cardboard, and a long list of things you might be using in a project build. Now, the stuff I'm holding right here, my personal favorite, Loctite Super Glue Gel Control or Ultra Gel Control, because it's a gel, it's thick, right? It doesn't run all over your project. I hate that. Use it in a well-ventilated area, because a small percentage of folks out there are particularly sensitive to cyanoacrylates, and apply sparingly. It is embarrassing to glue your fingers together or to the parts you're working with. I highly recommend wearing disposable glue gloves every time you grab a tube of this. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Patrick Norton, and if you'd like to see more Tech Thing shorts, head over to youtube.com slash techthing. Check out our weekly show on YouTube or at techthing.com. And if you want to support the work we do here, please head over to patreon.com slash techthing.